Alrighty, gang, welcome back. Here we are, recording again, another episode coming at you, and I, I do realize these have been coming at you at a pretty fast pace, but, you know, I've just been so into it, and, you know, I, I enjoy that feeling, you know, when you're feeling motivated and you want to just keep on going, so I hope you guys are in the same kind of zone as me. And uh, I thought for this episode we would do something a little bit um, different than just kind of highway construction the whole time. I thought um, what we could do, you can kind of see I've been exploring around a little bit here with some of the rails, is um, I think we should make ourselves a nice big central station near our central park. And I'm going to probably get three or four lines kind of rolling, rolling on through. I think we'll have um, a central station, I have the asset for that. And um, we'll make that a three line station with um, something like a bypass or, or something going by. So let's take these out just to give us a little more room here. And then we'll have part of the train traffic to kind of break. We'll go, you know, straight across the river. Just have some fun. And I'm hoping that this thing will finish emptying soon, because I really do want to change this over, this interchange. And uh, I've been staring at this. Um, definitely mission accomplished. Like, mission, like, super accomplished. Look at this! People are using the express and the collector lanes. Oh, I, I can't believe it. And, oh my goodness, I can't believe I almost forgot the directions for, like, the 17 trillionth time so, oh my goodness um no i wasn't even trying to be funny that literally did happen last episode so that is kind of frustrating um but yeah i am trying to pay more attention but i really do hope you guys understand that it does kind of you know these things they happen in the moment and it's not like i'm intentionally trying to be you know face palming here but um again i will try and keep more of an eye out for that kind of stuff just in general okay so i'm hoping to kind of take advantage of one of these um intersections and actually let's do some road planning first. This can always be upgraded later. Well, that's cool. We can actually wrap the whole the coast in. Eh? Well, it looks like we can't go on a perfectly straight angle like this simply because. Well, actually, what's stopping us? We just can't zone right there, then, I guess, right? That doesn't look bad. In fact, I kind of like that, to be honest, with the um, little transition to bridge. This should be smoothed out ever so slightly. So let's maybe terraform, or just kind of maybe affect the height just doing this kind of stuff. So that brings it up, and that's what we were kind of trying to avoid. Okay, so let's just make that. That's a zero it is. Yeah, that already looks straighter. Still doing that little itty bitty lip. See how it just kind of slightly gently comes up? Um, let me give this one more stab here. And what I'm going to try and do is maybe take a little rounded approach. Oh, no way! Did it color those... Oh, would you look at that! That's very really interesting. I don't think those things were supposed to be affected by the color of the, um... Oh, how fascinating! I'll have to, um... Let the guy who made that, uh, know that that's the case. Maybe there's a little bit of conflict happening with some of the mods, so that's a bit nicer. Okay, I like that. There we go. Okay, so this could be a tram line eventually, who knows? But I just wanted to give ourselves a little bit more establishment in terms of the border. And then what I'm going to do is probably take out, I think, this road. And I'm going to make a bridge starting from here to kind of go up and over all of this and then connect over to here. And, you know, I think we should put the tracks in first. Um, yeah, I'll keep, it, I'll keep it running. I know our population is starting to... Like, we do want to actually unlock a couple more tiles, but our population should be kind of moving. We've got lots and lots of money, which is good. But I'm not really worried about leaving this on three speed, I guess, is a good way to put that. Okay. So why don't we try and be in line, say, with this, just for the sake of old symmetry. And there are some metro lines built into this um, station. You can kind of see it has a nice central station um, written on it. There's a little metro en entrance right there. We'll add a couple more lines on. And then that way, you know, trains coming in. Oh, but you know what, though? We probably have to give ourselves a little, a little bit more room for the, um, for the approach. So why don't we sneak that down just a little bit? Okay, let's try that out. 
All right, so we need our M2 and M3B. Perfect. Okay, so that's this part of the station essentially closed off. All right, so that go like that. Now these roads you unfortunately can't, so I can only upgrade from there to everything. So we're stuck with that style of road going in to kind of fill that loop right there. But we can route some buses through here, which will be kind of fun. And then, you can see these don't perfectly line up, so what I'm going to do is just redraw our little um, you know, train network right here. Possibly, maybe change this, we'll see. I think it's probably going to be easier to kind of work with um, a little bit different curve though. And then, yeah, even though I just put this in, we're going to change that too, but, like, totally, like, easy to fix this, you know? And my thoughts are, if we do end up a little bit more, kind of, room in this corridor, we can probably put a bike lane or something, kind of, sneaking alongside one of the rails. That should be kind of cool. Alright, sorry, I know this is kind of, uh, loud. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... Now, since this will slowly drive me crazy, let me at least um, connect this guy. Draw that on. See, that's thirteen thousand dollars worth of piping. Holy smokes! Heated pipes. Wow, they are very costly. Okay. Now, I still haven't picked um, who's going to be an internal line, who's going to be an external line, like that kind of stuff yet. So we're going to worry about that. I think a little bit later on. Just for the moment though. Okay, so just so we can go absolutely perfectly symmetrical. Let's do something that we didn't actually do before. And the reason why I'm putting those roads down is sun back, please. So we can snap into this. And then um, when we start our bridges, we can start them at like an even point, you know? Same with on both sides, right? Okay, so bring that up. Hopefully even pillars. And I did say I wanted a fourth line through here. Um, that one's going to be done a little bit afterwards, and it'll be kind of creatively brought in. So we'll just finish what we're doing first with the three of this. You know what? I might just have to do. Yeah, I'll probably have to do that. It's not quite what I was after, but we'll get it as close as we can, which is, I think, to here. The most non, you know, it's not the worst in terms of symmetry, but we'll always forever know that there's that little bit there, but that's okay. Okay, now two of these can connect, and then one of them can still continue, just to give ourselves a little bit of variation. guys connected is perfect and yeah this one can go straight across and this will connect with our um, industrial zone okay and then we're still gonna need just one more over here <clears throat> make our bridges the same and then we can find a way to make you know this kind of do its own thing so it's not the way of the uh, everybody else over here and then these tracks they might not necessarily link up with one another it might just kind of keep separate train lines you know going through each one with one of them having the option of like an express so you can kind of get from one end of the city to the other a little bit faster 
Okay, none of this stuff set in stone. Oh, why don't we go under? Oh, of course, there's the subways. I was like, we can go underground, but nope, we will be in the way of the subways. Okay, so this is going to be an elevated part. Why don't we just keep it elevated and not bring the rail down? It'd be so cool if we could um, go up and over it. But there's this the amount of conflict that just is not happening. Okay. Luckily, we have the technology. Okay, there we go. And we'll put as much oh nice of this as we can in right now. Because of just the pillars, you know, and, and this and that, right? Cool. Okay, so that goes like that. And this is subject to change, but let's make sure these guys still connect. And then, um, I'm probably not going to do any train lines just yet. I'm more or less just kind of setting up the, um, just almost like placeholder spots so I can kind of see where the rails need to be and, you know, that kind of stuff. And I don't really think our city is essentially large enough to justify having, like, a really, really big train, train line going through just yet. But it's fun to kind of get things established. Okay. So for sure, I want another one of these lines kind of going this way, right? And then these two, again, we can figure out how they're going to work, but these two are kind of going to stay in their own little, uh, you know, direction right there. I guess we'll bring everyone over the water first. And then I want the other, the top two lines to kind of do, you know, go off in a different direction. And then my thoughts are, if we have industry here, if we have you know, a little bit more town kind of going along the coast, we can kind of bring the rail around and then it can sneak up and we can make another interchange here. And that way it's just one long corridor that goes through, you know, picture the city over here. Maybe the city can kind of curve and, and follow the highway as well. And then that way, yeah, it's just one long corridor sweeps through. And then when we're feeling bold, maybe we can bring one more line down this river. We can extend the city up here. So lots of options for the future, but the main way to kind of wiggle around the city will be, um, what does it look actually straight this one? Um, we'll be using um, uh, metro or um, uh, buses or trams. And I'm gonna let, yeah, we'll do that one again. That one didn't really come out the way I, I wanted it to. There we go. Cool. Definitely digging it. Right now, let's make this work. Okay, so I think that was the issue. And then, for the sake of everything looking nice, oh, okay, I know what we need. We need something for. I gotta go above and beyond here, okay. Um, almost. Oh my goodness, there's so much to do here. Okay, so, there, that's on the ground. That now connects. And... Oh, um, might help if I use the right kind of road, so I need some... There we go, I need some grids. And just drop that in. And we'll raise that up. Just like that. And we will hopefully, otherwise this plan is dead in the water. No, oh good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let's make these guys connect. Should be doable. Okay. 
Almost. Okie dokie. There we go. A little bit of work, but we got it. And see, so yeah, a principal goal is to get everyone either coming from the region or coming from other parts of the city to get them to get dropped off, hopefully at this train station here. Then they can switch lines, um, take a different train to one of our little industrial parts, you know, different part of the city, um, you know, down the coast type thing. Otherwise, you can switch over to one of our subway networks and we should start putting some subway stops in and just kind of have like a little web and everything kind of, you know, connect over here. And then the other thing that we definitely are going to need over here is kind of like a central bus hub. So we'll use the one that's available with um, the After Dark expansion, because that's a great um, little unit for this area. And, oh, actually, that'd be kind of interesting to route all of our bus traffic through here. Huh. Now, the way this is going to work is there's going to be people, unfortunately, parking on that style of road, so I, I want to avoid that. And so what we can do is go like this, and then we use that style of road. And then that way we get the extra lanes, no one can park on that type of road, and then we can still get a, um, a bus hub in here. Neat. And then we can put some, you know, parks and some, you know, public kind of space right here in the center. And uh, yeah, let people hang out and everything while they're waiting for the bus. Or if they're, you know, meeting people, they have at least something to do. Okay. And now, the game plan, like I said, was to get that um, bridge up and through. Have we given ourselves enough room to still achieve that? Um, not quite. So, perhaps this can be brought up? Is that, is that crazy talk right there? Okay, well, let's just sneak a peek and see if we can get something just working through here. Okay. Just going to go ahead and use the uh, regular four lane here. And we will need tram tracks, so let's go ahead and use those. Okay, so I need this to be symmetrical, so let's go like this first. Just basically going for that. All right, that's excellence. And then this can hopefully come up and over and then we can connect it into there. And I'm not opposed to a tunnel, but I think I would prefer a bridge, but I just realized that we might run into problems because of that one bridged um, piece of rail right here. So why don't we try this and hopefully just avoid the subways. That way it's kind of cool. We have like this, you know, tram network that kind of, you know, comes out of nowhere, it looks like. And what would be like super, super cool is if this could line up. <gasps> what? It does? Oh my goodness. I feel like we just won the lottery right here. Okay, so slight adjustment to the neighborhood. Um, let me see what the tram kind of tracks already look like. Right, right, right. You know, not the worst idea to bring one up and through here. Just as kind of a planning for the future thing. Okay, so this is, yeah, this was not what I was expecting, but I think in terms of symmetry... Oh, it's slightly off! No! <laughs> it's off by like just the littlest bit. Okay, I am not going to go through the trouble of destroying all of these poor people and moving everything over by like a fraction, because it's going to, you know... It's going to disrupt everything else. Luckily, though, this line here, it does carry... No, it doesn't carry trams, so I guess we're going to have to incorporate that. Alright, well, it does now. That's too funny. Okay. Do we want them going this way? I don't see why not. I know we don't necessarily need them going over this bridge here, because we have it in so many other spots, right? So let's actually backtrack that. That's fine to connect over to here. And we'll just take a look and see with the purples, so you can kind of see. A little bit more um, options in terms of routing. And we can even go this way down the road, but it's starting to become overkill, you know? 
But um, yeah, I've had a few of you comment and say there is no such thing as overkill when it comes to Tram. So I like that. Um, I like that attitude, guys. Okay, so in instances like this, it is easier to back this up than to upgrade. Oops. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. And then we'll upgrade. And then we can redraw that line coming back in. Cool. And darn it, of course, of course, of course, this is going to be so... Okay, cross your fingers here. And of course, darn it. Alright. Tell me this is possible. There's no way. Oh, are you kidding me? No way. Is it the height? Perhaps that's the issue? Hmm. After we did such a great job getting these in, too. Well, let's see if we can get them going just as easily a second time around. Okay, so, same kind of shape it looks like. I think we need to be a bit taller because of the, um, you know, the uh, wires for the overhead rails. Or the overhead wires for the rails, I should say. Okay, well, yeah, let's just try. I mean, fingers crossed here. So, straight. Oh, okay. That's great news. So I think what we needed was just a little bit more width because of the, um, yeah, maybe this bro uh, bridge. I almost said road and bridge at the same time there. The um, road looks like it's a bit wider, or the bridge looks like it's a bit wider than the previous. So in that sense, I may actually run into a little bit of issues right here. And I unfortunately don't have the no pillar um, mod installed. Oh, that would be so handy right now, darn it. <clears throat> and that's just the curve of this one, eh? It's just ever so slightly too wide. That is really unfortunate. Now, I wonder... There really would be no way to kind of go underneath, would there? Like, if I made a tunnel or something? Hmm. No, because I, I do kind of like the architecture of that, right? Darn it, this is so frustrating. Um, because yeah, let's fit beautifully, of course, right? Yeah. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Whatever will we do with you? Okay, so, slightly sunken, let's see what happens. Never so slightly. And two issues right there is definitely the water and those other pillars. So take this out and hopefully get this working. Go straight over to minus three. That's just enough, I believe. Bring that down. Okay. Not necessarily the most conventional way of doing these things, but sometimes you just gotta let the game do its own thing and not, you know, try not to poke the bee's nest type thing. Because if it does work, like, you know, I think we'll kind of ignore the fact that it goes partially underground and just be happy that it's working, right? There we go. It's not like we're gonna zone there anyhow, and I'd rather have a connected waterfront, you know? versus just a big weird, you know? So I'll take it. I know this looks a little bit strange. Um, what I'll probably do is maybe off camera put those rocks and, you know, make a little bit of an extension kind of to our park over here. But at least we're connected and we're, you know, we're crossed over to the other side of the uh, the water, essentially. Or um, other side of the tracks, I should say. Oh my goodness, we've blown through all of our cash. That is incredible. Um... I wonder if that wouldn't be a bit better of a fit on the inside. Because that way, you know, buses coming in can kind of work a bit better with traffic, I want. Hmm. Options to explore. We even do one of these little small roads through just to kind of box this in a bit better. Just go like this. 
unfortunately not um not happening there though. Oh interesting. Oh that'd be so cool if that connected. And it does. How about that? Okay, so that's just a little bit of a U-turn kind of, you know, point for the buses to kind of cross around. Yeah, let's leave that just like that. I know I said I wanted to keep that as a little bit of an open square, but... I think I take back what I said. We can still use this as park space. Like, don't get me wrong here. We'll still put some assets and stuff. I just think in terms of how the buses are now going to go through, hopefully this will be a bit of a better fix. And then, yeah, we'll have our closest tram stop just right here, so anyone getting on and off the buses can do a quick little transfer. And the trams will bring you, you know throughout the city and then I did talk about wanting to do another highway junction I think we have to kind of buy this tile here just so we get that extra little bit you know to work with but uh, no that's that's not a bad little I like this okay now is this done emptying seven percent oh my goodness this is so close okay so I'll leave it on three speed just so we can co hopefully motor through that last little bit I will bring the Sun back up and let's zone in these areas here and then hopefully get some more people moving in it's kind of a commercial area that's fine and dandy lots of demand for commercial right now probably use another road kind of coming through here Just go like that. Perfect, more commercial. There we go, that helps that demand immensely. Okay. And I haven't forgotten about what I said about the um, the bike lanes. So these are the kind of things we could sneak a bike lane, you know, through here to get up and over the, um, the highway. So we'll, we'll make some notes for that. But definitely I want to get a bike network kind of going through the um, city of ours here. Alright, now up here, perhaps we can do a little pockets of just high density, just like literally right there, that littlest amount. And no one's really complaining about the noise per se just hit over here, so I think we're okay. And I've had a request for a second snow dump to go in. Do we, we have two, don't we? Yeah, we have that one there. And one over here. I think we'll maybe need a third one just over here, but... I'd like to kind of rebuild this area first. I think the, you know... Obviously the snow accumulates when it's snowing, but I think in terms of coverage we're, we're okay. Just, you know, overall. Okay, so population's definitely getting higher. I'm really digging this. And just so I can kind of show you my, my game plan for the metro. So, um, we have three kind of, you know, lines that go through our main thing. What we can do is have kind of, you know, three lines that go, you know, overlapping kind of things like this. Almost like, um, like picture the same kind of shape as the roads here, you know? We can have a metro line kind of follow almost like each one of these avenues, and then they all kind of converge over here type thing, but they kind of, you know, take that approach, go out, maybe a little bit higher, a little bit higher than that type thing. So yeah, it's always good to kind of plan, you know, leave yourself room, and that way you don't have to do too much destruction when it comes time for, you know, for the public transit. So even though the trains are not rolling yet, you can kind of see, like, we definitely know where they're going to be, we know how much room it's going to take up, it's not going to be, you know, too much guesswork when we're getting some more roads through here. The only thing that's going to be tricky is creating a little bit of signal points and getting, you know, some more stations to kind of work with the uh, with the team. But, uh, but no, I think we've got a nice little, uh, you know, nice little improvement here. And we'll start moving into some buses, I think, in the next episode. Could maybe get our first um, route. Could maybe get two routes, even. And, yeah, I'm not disappointed with this. I just wish that had gone down a little bit differently. And what I'm going to do, actually, I think this will be the last thing we'll do before the episode is uh, is finishing, is I'm going to try my hands at maybe making this a little bit of a smaller approach. Or, like, a shorter approach. You can see a little bit more of our... Um, of our network. So just go like that. And, oh, I don't know if it's going to go from a bridge to what I'm trying to do here. Uh, okay, so 
Perhaps my um my thoughts here are a little ambitious. Yeah, it's gotta be right there, eh? Well, sir. If that's what she's gotta be. Okay. Well, that gave us maybe a quarter inch more. Okay, I'll still take it. Ooh, prisons, oh goodness. Okay, so um services, we'll keep an eye on those too for next episode. Oh no, are we getting water in our oh darn it. I have flooded Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back to where it was. Okay, but we'll uh, yeah, we'll end the episode here. Definitely think this is a, a fun one. Love working on the trains. Glad to see that those are uh, you know, a big hit with you guys too. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of keep that m momentum going. Okay, are these at a minus nine? It is. Even if I go like that, does that look a bit nicer? There we go. So essentially back to exactly where it was, but oh well. At least now we know, right? Okay, so that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I do appreciate it. And if you do like it, keep on hitting that like button. You know, definitely, it, it does way more than you think. You know, kind of helps with the, uh, you know, helps people find the channel. Kind of, you know, makes us look a little bit friendlier. So appreciate all that kind of stuff. All right, guys. I look forward to reading the comments. Hope you don't mind that these have been coming out at a uh, marathon's pace, but uh, you guys seem to be enjoying them. So, I'm um, trying another episode out for you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow, and it's going to be a very busy weekend in terms of filming. So. Expect lots of content, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Alright, well, until the next one, take care of yourselves, as always, and, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this series. Hope you guys are, too. Alright, take care.